morning, Saturday 23rd of June. Just had a nice night camping here. It's a pretty good view really. I get packed away now and uh, back there onto the road down there and uh, carry on to a town called Tatu. Okay, back on the road. The hill we came up yesterday, we decided to stop here. And so far, it doesn't seem windy. That was a good decision. That's where we came up there. And that house right at the top. Okay, let's get it. Well, I mean, it's just not flat anywhere. It doesn't go up or down. Now the wind's back. <laughs> as soon as the sun comes out. So oh, finally a downhill arrived. We are sitting here and the uh, two coffees on the table and we now we want to have some uh, bread and so we are trying to do a cable car and I will say it's the longest cable car in the whole world and that is what we are trying to do. We don't know too much about it. Thank you. Great, thank you. So yes, and we have here because the was a cycling man, he uh, told us over with the shop, he told us about we can take the cable car and so we don't need to go down a big hole and so up again. Mm. So we can, don't need too big a hill, so we can make a little smooth version. Shortcut. Shortcut. Yeah. Mm. It's called the Wings of Tatev and then we're going to a town called Tatev and maybe we'll stay in a hotel there this evening. Maybe even a restaurant. <laughs> it's like a little break in the middle of Armenia. <laughs> Best of everything was this guy from Holland, he's just been to Iran, doing the opposite of what direction are we going, but he's got a SIM card for Iran. I had a SIM card left over from Turkey, so we did a swap. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was quite good really. That was quite convenient. So now we've just been in a little coffee shop here, and they have a room, there's some women baking bread. It's very funny how they're swinging it around and it smells really nice. It's such a nice heat here from the oven and the floor. Really nice. And it's swinging the bread around here and put this on this cushion type of thing. And then she puts it in the oven and stick to the side of the oven. And the other lady takes it out. So, the guy we just met, he told us we can take our bikes on this. Wings of Tatu. Okay, we're going to do 16 kilometers in 12 minutes and save ourselves a huge downhill and uphill. <laughs> I think uh, Medit likes the sound of that. It's normal, the normal crowd develops around Jamie. Okay, it wasn't that easy, but we can go at 3.15 and they'll take the bikes later at 6.30, so we'll get there a bit early so we can find a place to stay in a hotel and uh, wait for the bikes to come over. Okay, so this is a Guinness World Record, the world's longest non-stop reversible aerial tramway. It's quite a title. Not sure what that means, but uh, it should be quite impressive. But, uh, I can see it coming there. Goes down there. Hopefully our bikes will come later. We are flying instead of hiking. <laughs> Welcome on board the Wings of Tatev. Recorded in the Guinness Book of Records as the longest reversible tramway in the world. Oh, Seemingly abandoned, was in the monastery estate for 900 years. A closer look will reveal the chapel of Saints Peter and Paul and St. Minas Church, 
built in 1611. <laughs> this route to one of Armenia's most celebrated medieval monasteries was constructed in 2010 as part of the Tatev Revival Project. There is an abandoned cloister where medieval monks dwelt. No was the Metzanovic, the Grand Hermitage of Tatev. It was built in 1660 and is connected to Tatev's monastery through a tunnel. This is a natural duct formed above the Vorotan River. It is 30 meters long and 60 meters wide, or 100 by 200 feet. Underneath the bridge, there are many mysterious caves and healing springs. Tatev Aerial Tramway. All profits from the tickets are invested into the revival of the Tatev Monastery. Enjoy your time exploring one of the many beautiful sites of Armenia. Okay, so now we're in Tatev. That's quite an impressive cable car ride. I'd heard that it was a uh, one of the major sites in Armenia, but I didn't realize it was going to be such an experience. So that was good. Yeah, just found a bed and breakfast now in Tatu. Like a nice place. Well, this is probably the coziest place we've been yet on the trip. A very nice village we're staying in here. And a bed and breakfast. This is our room. It's the first time we try Armenian herbal tea with mint and thyme and different flowers. You know, uh, it's a uh, apricot. Yes, yes, we yes. know them. Yes. <laughs> yes, they taste very good. Yeah. <laughs> and where are you from? Denmark, Dania. Yeah. Dania. Dania. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. This is another one of those simple life experiences that you just never imagine and expect. You're going to turn up in a place like this, and all of a sudden you're sitting here with nice tea and fruit and cakes and extremely peaceful garden just to sit here in this village. Why did we know that this morning? That we just had to bike for a little bit, come to a cable car and then come to a nice cozy bit of breakfast here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. you just never know how the day will turn out. You think you do but you never, really don't in the end anyway. <laughs> Pretty nice view to have from your back garden. You would never believe our bed and breakfast was through there, that door. <laughs> no sign or anything to say. We had no idea where it was, but uh, we asked somebody down there and they... Uh, so there's the bed and breakfast. It's a really nice place when you're in there. Yeah, maybe you see many places outside, not so beautiful, but inside it's mm. very comfortable and nice and very yeah. and the fire's going on and everything. Yeah, we've seen that. on Google, Google Maps. When they showed us it, when he, here we were standing there looking a bit skeptical, but nice place. The yeah. most coziest place we've been so far. So funny, there's no sign outside. Yeah, nothing at all. Not mm. a single thing to say it's a bed and breakfast. Got two rooms there. You can choose from one or the other room. With one with four beds and house with three beds. So can't be better. Nobody's going to go down now to see Tatev Monastery and hope our bikes turn up at quarter to seven on the on the cable car. Not so pleased about leaving them on the other side on their own, but I think they're safe enough inside the inside the cable car there. So let's see. Hopefully they're turning a lift in this thing here. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, this is the monastery of Tatu. Uh, Armenia is a Christian country, the first country to adopt Christianity. They converted to Christianity in the year 300. So. This is one of the famous sites here in Armenia, the Monastery of Tatu. Now we just have been in church and we have been the was the Christian fast priest. Priest, he do this on my head and the cross. I think that means that God will give us some look, uh, Protect, protection, protection. What a blessing! A yeah. blessing, yeah. Mm. Oh, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was actually very comfortable. It was very... Ah, oh, I was nearly sleeping. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we haven't nice. tried that before, yeah. have we? So, now we've tried a, 
a Christian church. It uh, looks like something from very, very old Paston times. So uh, that was good in there. Yeah. So, okay. Let's have a little walk around. Just a wonderful ancient monastery here, just uh, perched up on the mountainside here. It's supposed to be the best attraction in Armenia. Really a beautiful place, a peaceful place. I'm nearly pleased this was on route here. The mountains we have to cross tomorrow, so it looks like it's going to be a nice day on the bikes. A bit of a climbing at first, but then it should be downhill. Cable car full of bikes, perfect. Just what we wanted to see. <laughs> bikes are safely in our position, just turned up in the restaurant here. And, uh, looks like we've got a table here. In this hut, whatever it is. With a nice view of the monastery. That should be good. Oh, nice place. So Tata Monastery here used to be a pagan church here in ancient times and then uh, in the 4th century when Armenia converted to Christianity they built a small chapel here and then that was uh, used until the 8th century and it was replaced by this monastery. There used to be a thousand people working here and uh, writing manuscripts and different things. So here in the restaurant we ordered some traditional tatev. This is the town we are in. Food, well, the village we are in. Tatev food. This uh, beef here. There's a lot of meat on, uh, a lot of fat on. And you think when you, they just put it on the table, you think, ah, oh, it's not so good. But when you taste it, it's really good, and even the fat is tasty and not chewy at all. Chewy at all. It's really, really nice. So that was another, yeah, good day. That when you start off in the morning, you got no idea how it's going to end up. Another day full of surprises. So uh, we didn't actually expect to. Uh, well, didn't know whether we would come to Tatev. There was also a bypass road we could have gone around, but. Luckily we met a, a guy from Holland, he's been cycling through Iran and we met him on the way north by coincidence but uh, he told us that we could put our bikes on the uh, on the cable way and uh, on the cable car there and come to Tatev and uh, told us there's a nice village here but uh, yeah we didn't realise it was going to be such a good cable car ride and also didn't realise that the village was going to be so nice and cosy here and also, we didn't know where we could find a bit of breakfast at all. Maybe it's a tourist place and so we might not find somewhere. When we find somewhere like this, it's a yeah, day full of surprises. You never know <laughs> where it's going to turn out. It turned out really well. A nice short visit to the monastery. We didn't have too much time because we had to collect our bikes, but uh, that could have been nice to have a few more minutes there. But uh, we managed to see it. Um, so, good day, really good day. Tomorrow we have our breakfast here. On the table there, that'd be nice. <laughs> it's nice, uh, it's more like a homestay kind of bed and breakfast place, but uh, really good. Then we'll head into the mountains that are behind me now tomorrow. Um, be looking at the map, so it should be really um, picturesque day tomorrow in the mountains. So I have to climb a bit at first and then it should be downhill after that, so that'd be good. We'll look forward to that. So, okay, see you tomorrow. We'll uh, go and have a rest now in a nice room. And, uh, see you I think Jamie's already here. No idea how old this place is, but uh, should be nice to sleep here. Yeah. Hi, Jamie. Okay, I want to say something. Uh, it's a little bit old, but because now you can hear it feels a little bit fun feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds comfortable though. Yeah, and when you when you move, you're a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not new. But it's very comfortable and it's very soft and oh. that's the most important. Okay. <laughs> Good night and see you tomorrow.